Hi everyone, I'm back. This is Ken's Family Taekwondo and it's lesson number seven. Hold on a second, let me take this mask off so you can see my face. I'll put that away. And again, welcome back to Ken's Family Taekwondo. It's lesson number seven. So let's just get right into it. First thing we're going to do, I'd like you all just to have a seat on the floor and sit comfortable just for a few seconds. And while you're sitting there, you can think about some of the things that we're going to learn today in Taekwondo, just for a few seconds. Okay, you can stand up. And if you have watched any of my videos before, you know that this is the time I pick my senior student. So let me see, I'm going to just come right up in here and I'm going to choose. Oh, I see. Oh, your hand is up back there. I see it. You can be my senior student. All right. Jumbi Sup. Jariat Sup. My senior student will say, Kiyosonim Kekunye. Sup. We all bow to the teacher. And we're good and we're ready to go. Before we get going, I would just like to let Milo, the Taekwondo Wonder Dog, say hello. Milo, would you like to say hello to everyone out there? Say hello. There he goes. You see him? He's looking at you guys. All right, Milo, you ready to go back? You can watch. Let me put Milo back here. There we go. Milo's going to watch us. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to get loosened up just a little bit. And in this lesson, we're going to do a little bit more of a workout, okay? And I want to point out, as we do a workout, think of our third tenet, perseverance. And what that means is just keep going. And it also means that it, it, you don't have to keep up with me or anybody else. You just go at your own pace. What it means is, for instance, if we're going to do a kick, instead of doing a kick like, uh, like that, which really isn't a kick. You can do a kick like that, but you don't have to go as fast. As long as you keep moving, you can do kicks like this. As long as you keep moving. That's what we're going to do. All right. So let's start with some stretches. And we're going to start with our head, and we're just going to kind of work our way down. So our head is going to turn all the way around back this way and then turn all the way back this way and forward again. Bring your head down, make a nice big circle and go back the other way. Nice big circle. Good job. Our arms. Just, just swing our arms out like this. Swing them off to the side. Back and forth. Just back and forth. Nice and loose. And it turns your whole body at the same time. Now our arms can go like this. And back the other way. Good job. And we're going to stand about shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, and we're going to just stretch to the side. Come back up and stretch to the other side. Good job. How about we all have a seat on the floor? Going to sit on the floor. Back is up nice and straight. Your legs are flat on the floor, together. You're going to take a deep breath, blow it out, and stretch as far as you can. Don't overstretch, just as far as you can. And back up again. 
One more time. Blow it out. And we'll just shake that out. And we'll stand up. All right. One more stretch. Well, I'll go do a couple more stretches. We're going to stand like this. Take your right foot and turn it like this. Now step out as far as you can, keeping your left leg nice and straight. As far as you can, get a nice stretch going and then just sink down. Nice stretch and then come back up and turn the other direction and stretch. And come back up again. Good. Now it's time for our Taekwondo dice. Remember these? We roll the dice and whatever it comes up, all sorts of different things on the dice, whatever it comes up is what we do. All right? So if you want to roll the dice, I want to see your hand go up and I'm going to look. How about you? Would you like to roll the dice? Awesome. Here you go. You ready? Roll those dice. And it comes up with eight push-ups. Great way to start. We're going to get down here like this and do eight push-ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's do it again. Raise your hand if you want to roll the dice. Okay, I see you. Ready to roll those dice? There they are. Roll those dice. And, oh, good. It's eight more push-ups. Can we do that? Perseverance, our third tenant. Let's do what we can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoo! Okay. One more time. We're going to roll these dice one more time. Who wants to roll them? I'm looking. There you are. I see you. There's the dice. Got him? Roll those dice. Eight, oh, six leg lifts. Okay, we'll do those. So let's get into a fighting stance with our left foot forward. Put your hands up, and we're going to do a leg lift with our right leg. We're not kicking, we're just swinging our leg up and back eight times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good warm up. That was a good warm up. All right. So let's do a little bit of review before we get into all of these kicks that we're going to do. So, forward stance with punch. These are all techniques that we learn in our first form Chun Ji. So, everybody get into that good forward stance and remember can always go back to previous videos and see exactly how these stances are done. So we're going to get into forward stance with our left foot forward. Let me back up and we're going to put our left punch out and our right fist comes right to the belt. We're going to step forward and back and punch five times. Ready, go. One, two, three, 
four, five. All right, good job. Forward stance, low block. Also a technique that we do in Chun Ji, our white belt form. So get into that good forward stance, left foot forward. Take your left arm, put it down at four low block. Right fist comes to your belt. We're going to step forward and back, doing low block five times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Back stance, middle block. Another technique that you need to know in Chun Ji to get from a white belt to a yellow belt. So this time we're in a back stance with our left foot forward. Good back stance. Left arm comes out for the middle block. Right hand, make a fist, comes right to your belt. Again, we're going to step forward and back, doing a back stance and a middle block. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good. Now, our last block, we learned what it was. It's actually a yellow belt block, but we learned it anyway. So again, we're in our good forward stance with our left foot forward, and we're putting out a high block which protects your head if somebody's trying to hit you on the top of the head. So you got that high block out, your right fist comes right to your belt. Stepping forward and back, doing a high block five times. Go! One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And remember, you can keep practicing these, watch them at home, stop the video, pause it, watch it. Easier to learn that way. Okay? Now, are you ready to do some kicks? So we have learned front kick, we have learned roundhouse kick, and we've learned side kick. So we're going to do a series of kicks starting with front kick. We're going to start with our left foot forward. We're going to be doing 20 front kicks with our back leg and our hands are going to stay up. They always want to protect our head. So you ready to go? Here we go. And one, two, three, hands up, four, five, six, seven, Keep going. Eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, yoo sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, you're there, twenty. All right, switch legs. You got your right foot forward. Your left leg's back. Your hands are up. 20 front kicks with our left leg. You're ready to go. Keep those hands up and go. One, two, three, four, five. Hands up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, you're doing it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, whoo, 18, 19, one more, 20. All right. We're getting loosened up. All right. That's what I like to see. All right, let's move on. Roundhouse kicks. So we're going to do... 20 roundhouse kicks, alternating legs. Remember, 
This is how we do it. We start with our left leg forward and the roundhouse kick, instead of coming straight ahead, it goes off to the side. So we start with our right leg. Let me demonstrate it one time for you. It's kick, step down, and now the left leg. Kick, step down. Then we do the right leg. So we're gonna do 20 roundhouse kicks, alternating legs. You ready to go? You ready? Say, I'm ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, go for it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, woo! All right, let's do a little jogging in place here. Keep that blood moving. All right, you're doing awesome. Perseverance, third tenant. You got it? All right, good. All right, next kick. Going to be the side kick. All right, remember, side kick. Come straight out and you're hitting with the heel. It's like a stomp kick like you're stomping something. You're stomping something like that. So we're gonna do 20 side kicks, alternating legs. You ready to go? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, hands up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, hands up, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Jog in place, jog in place. Okay, we've done all three of those kicks. Now let's get down on the ground. Back on the floor, let's do 10 crunches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten push ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. I hope you're getting a good workout. Okay. Now we're going to learn one more new kick. Want to learn a new, a new kick? All right. To demonstrate that, we're going to use my friend Rocky. All right, Rocky, come over here. How's that? That gonna work? So we're gonna do what's called a crescent kick. Hey, move moving back right out there. All right. We want to see him a little bit. All right, so here we go. A crescent kick is a kick 
which you're hitting with the side of your foot. So it can be like this. Ow! Just like that. Crescent kick. It's with the side of your foot. Or it can go on the other side of your foot. Ow! Like that. It can go this way or that way. So let's just practice that and do 10 crescent kicks. Ready? My hands are up. One. Now the other foot. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. That's crescent kick. All right. How you doing? You tired? Me too. Let's do a little sparring with Rocky. Rocky, how about it? Want to do a little sparring? Remember when we spar, we keep our hands up, we guard. We, want, we don't want to get hit in the head. So when we spar, just move around. And remember, you can do kicks too. Crescent kick. Brownhouse kick. So I'm going to let you guys do some sparring with Rocky. And how I'm going to do that, I'm going to move Rocky right here in front of the camera. And I'm going to move him around, and you're going to practice punching him. Now remember, I don't want you to get too close to the TV or the computer, whatever you're watching me on. I don't want you to hit the TV or the computer. So when you spar Rocky, stand back far enough and you're pretending to hit him because you can't actually hit him because he's here with me. So let me move Rocky closer. There we go. Is that pretty good? All right. So I'm going to get out of the picture here. And then I'm going to be moving Rocky around like this. Okay, I'm going to move him all around like this. And your job is to punch him and practice kicking him. All right, you want to do that for a little bit? Let's try it. Let me get out of the picture here. You ready, Rocky? You guys ready? Here we go. Get him. Punch that. Punch him. Punch him. Kick Rocky. Oh, yeah, he's going to go for it. Rocky's going to attack you. You're going to punch him. You're going to stop him. Go, hit him. Kick him. All right, don't let him get you. Don't let Rocky get you. you got to stop him. Protect yourself. Punch him, punch him, punch him. He's moving around now. Get him. He's moving back and forth. you got to get him. Don't let him freak you out. Punch him, kick him. Go for it. Do a little bit more. You're going to do a little bit more. Say there's 10 seconds left. You're going to go for the knockout. Hit him. Punch him. Knock him out. One last good punch. Pow! Woo! Okay, I think you punched him out. So let's move him out of the way. That's good enough. All right. So I think it's time to about to end our class and we're going to use our senior student to help with that again. So it's going to back up here. Jumi sup. Chariot sup. Senior student says Kiyosa nem kunye sup. We bow. And then the senior student 
recites the tenets of Taekwondo, and you guys all recite them too at the same time, nice and loud. And by the way, in my class, you need to know these tenets and what they mean by the time you're a green belt. So let me get closer so you can see our tenets. All right. Can you see those okay? You ready? Here we go. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit, Taekwondo. You guys did an awesome job. Before we go, Milo the Taekwondo Wonder Dog is going to say goodbye to you guys. All right, Milo, you've been a good dog. Let's get right down here. Look right at the camera. All right, you guys. Milo's looking at you. He says, see you guys next week for Ken's Family Taekwondo. I think it's lesson number eight. Woo! All right. See you guys later. Say bye, Milo. Bye-bye.